Um, so hello, we're going to go through some self stretches for the neck utilizing active isolated stretching. Uh, we're going to begin with simple flexion, straight spine, tuck your chin and roll down. Imagine rolling one vertebra at a time. As you come out of the stretch, do the exact opposite movement, untucking your chin at the end. Breath in and blow out. And now we're going to use lateral flexion. Find a point directly in front of you to focus on. That will help keep your head moving in a clean plane of motion. And bring your ear to your shoulder. If you feel any pinching in your neck as you bring your ear to your shoulder, make sure that you've got your chin gently tucked and your neck's not out here. Focus on having good posture, and that should reduce, if not eliminate, any pinching feeling you get. Now we're going to add rotation. Once again, same good posture, chest out, tight belly. Make the contact point directly on your cheekbone. That'll avoid putting any inappropriate stress on your jaw joint, your TMJ. If you struggle to keep your shoulder from coming forward, rest it on the back of your stool, your chair, whatever it is. Don't grip, simply rest it there. Now we're going to start adding other variations of this first flexion exercise. Turn your head approximately 45 degrees to the right, tuck your chin, and bring your nose down towards the center of your right breast. Once again, as you come out of the stretch, do it the exact opposite. Start lifting low in your spine and end by untucking your chin. After a set of six to eight reps, switch to the next one. So turn the opposite way. Now I'm going to bring my ear down towards the center of my breast. Keep your chin gently tucked, don't force it, but don't allow yourself to be out here as you do the stretch. Always having a point fixed with your eyes to help keep the plane of motion clean. And lastly, we're going to end with extension work. Come down so that your elbows are on your thighs. I like to hold on to my collarbones to keep my rib cage in place. And Come up looking for the seal. And just as we did previously with the flexion exercises to get different muscles in extension, you're going to turn your head 45 degrees to the right, come up like so. I'm bringing my occiput towards my scapula. With all neck exercises, it's a good idea to use your eyes at the end of the movement in the direction you're going. So now I literally look up to the ceiling. And then I can keep my head turned 45 degrees to the right, take my other hand over the top, and come back bringing my ear towards my scapula. And finally, to add some emphasis into the muscles of the jaw, just coming back to the center. And as I look up to the ceiling, the first thing I'm going to do is jut my jaw out and then come up. That's going to emphasize the platysma muscle. 
And if I wait till the very end to jump my jaw, I'm going to emphasize these jaw muscles, omohyoid, digastric, etc. So I do the regular movement and then at the end, jump my jaw. And I will also do it with the extension exercise that brings my occiput to my scapula. Jump my jaw first. <clears throat> and then I will follow up with repetitions of jutting my jaw second. 